Hello, this is Dr. Stephen Cohen, and this video shows scleral fixation of a posterior chamber interocular lens. At this juncture in the surgery, the surface of the eye has been opened and some cautery has been applied. Here you're seeing a triangular shaped scleral flap being dissected. This will be used to cover the transscleral suture which will be used to fixate the posterior chamber interocular lens. This unfortunate patient had had previous cataract surgery and she fell out of bed and hit her eye on a night table and because of the trauma she had her interocular lens dislocated from the eye. Another surgeon did the vitrectomy to repair the ruptured globe and at the time of the surgery felt it was necessary to remove much of the iris. On the right of the screen you see a scleral flap being made for future insertion of the posterior chamber interocular lens. On the lower part of the screen, a 27 gauge needle is inserted, and then here on the top of the screen, the suture needle is inserted into the eye. The needle is guided across the pupil with the 27 gauge needle, and a fair amount of pressure is placed on the globe so that the tip of the needle comes out the other side of the eye and can be grasped. These needles are all placed underneath the scleral flap. You'll notice that that one was placed toward the left side of the flap and this next needle pass is done on the opposite side of the scleral flap. By passing the two proline sutures across the pupil, a little more support is given to the interocular lens and also you'll see later in the video by tying a loop around the lens, it is possible to rotate the knots inside of the eye which helps prevent future exposure of the knots through the scleral flaps. It's important these needles be placed just behind the iris. At this point in the surgery, the two suture passes have been made and now the suture inside the eye is pulled out through the incision where the lens will be inserted later and you'll see that this proline suture is now tied around the interocular lens and that's what will be used to support the lens inside of the eye. This is a special posterior chamber interocular lens that has loops on the haptics. The proline sutures are tied through those loops and that helps the interocular lens to remain stable inside of the eye in the proper position. The specific model of the interocular lens is placed on the left side of the screen here. There you see the lens inserted into the eye. The sutures are kept relatively taut throughout the procedure because one of the things to avoid is tangling up these very fine sutures during the procedure. Once the lens has been inserted into the eye, the sutures are tied under those flaps and that's how the lens is stabilized inside the pupil. Care is taken to place the flaps as close to 180 degrees apart as possible. This lens is a little bit decentered nasally, but it's, the optic is well within the visual axis. These proline sutures are tied fairly tight, but care is taken not to break the suture. This superior suture I was able to move and was therefore able to rotate into the eye. The inferior suture, though, you'll see was not movable, and therefore rather than risk breaking the suture, I buried it under the flap. You may notice on the top left of the screen is an infusion cannula. That keeps the eye pressurized and I place that just in case something happens and the lens dislocates and further surgery is needed at the time of the lens placement. Thank you for your attention. I hope this video was informative. There you see the lens nicely centered and this patient had an excellent visual result.